Variables and parameters are very important for the DevOps pipeline as they can store values and pass those values in deployments and applications. When we need to get interactively the user input for a task or a pipeline, we usually use parameters. And when we want to store variables and values for deployments, then we use variables. Parameters have a lot of types that can be used with. So in my example, I have specified a string parameter that has a display name of pool image and has also a default value and three values from which one user can select from. So when we try to run this pipeline, we will see that we get asked for a pool image as we specified in this step and we can select an input that we can then pass it, parse it through our actions in the pipelines. Parameters may have a default value or they can also don't have a default value and they can be of type string, boolean and other types as you can find from the documentation. Variables on the other hand can be defined with multiple ways. So we can use variables by either specifying the value in the pipeline or by using a variable group. In variable groups, we can store multiple variables for many pipelines and we can use them by specifying the group in our pipeline. So in this case, I have created a variable group named library, which we can find by navigating in the library section. So you can see that I have created a library which I can use and I have specified some values inside this library and I can also specify some new values in our library group and also save the library. So the library group help us store either plain text values or we can also set secrets by specifying the variable name variable one and by specifying the password by but by pressing the button here we can make this value a secret so we can define our variables in a variable group and we can use this variable group for from multiple pipelines and not only one in order to do that we should go and check the pipeline permissions and allow this library group to be used from multiple pipelines in a concept of isolation you may don't want to leave this without permission so you can also open access for all pipelines but by using the best practices we should restrict the access from the pipelines so you should only specify what permissions are needed for which pipeline in my case i have specified that the variables parameters pipeline can use this library group and by using that i can run and use the variables that are specified there so in this example i have used parameters as well as variables that are defined both in the pipeline like the one that is defined here the var1 but also in the library group so in the library group i have the variable called name and the variable called password and i have also specified some variables in the pipeline for example the variable one that has value of variable one as a value so i can run this pipeline and by giving also the parameters as input i can get the output of the pipeline in order to use the values of the parameters and variables i must use the syntax that is provided from the box so for parameters you should use this syntax the dollar and two brackets as parameters are pre-compiled so in order to more understand that we can check the documentation about the syntaxes that are provided for parameters and variables. So the template expression is used on compiled time. So every value that you provide in the parameters is expanded on the compiled time. So it cannot be changed during the runtime. So you cannot change a parameter 
value during the runtime as it is expanded on the compile time. On the other hand, you can change the values of variables on, on runtime, but you must use the appropriate syntax. For example, the macro syntax, because this syntax is evaluated before a task executes. So if you change, if the variable has a default value and then you change the variable before the task execute and use the macro syntax, then you will get the output of the change variable. So you can also use the runtime expression, which is usually used for expressions and if statements on the pipelines. So when we run our pipeline, we can locate the result. And by running the pipeline, we can see that the values of the library of the variables and parameters are expanded. So by checking the pipeline, we will see that the code, the only thing that the code does is to use a script task and this task will print the variable and parameter value. We have also included display names for each task that we execute. So as you can see, I run this pipeline and on the first task, I only print the surname that is provided when we press run pipeline. So whatever I put here, then this key will be printed in the first task. The second task prints the variable name and the surname. So I combine parameters with variables and I'm printing the name variable, which is defined on the library group and also the parameters. So I'm concatenating my name and my surname that is provided as input. The third task is echoing a secret. We define the variable password in the library as a secret. So when we printing this variable, we can see that we don't get the actual content of this variable. And as a last step, we print a variable, a local variable that is defined on the pipeline. As you can see, it is named var1. So this variable is so expanded and this is the value which we provided in this variable. 